Hello, I'm Tim. I'm a program manager for Azure Cosmos DB. Welcome to this short video on Azure Cosmos DB reserve capacity. Cosmos DB has many advantages in billing over on-prem database platforms and other cloud offerings. Many of these advantages from Cosmos DB uh, come from the billing's predictability and flexibility. Let's do a quick refresher on how Cosmos DB billing works. Your Cosmos DB bill can be separated into two broad categories, throughput capacity and data storage. First, let's talk a little bit about throughput capacity, which is obviously where the bulk of your bill will come from. Throughput capacity is measured in something called request units. Request units are incredibly easy to scale up and down. They're billed on an hourly level, so you can scale for workloads that may uh, have certain peaks or use certain high numbers of request units at different times. To give you a rough idea of what a request unit is, one read of a one kilobyte document will use approximately one request unit, and one write of a one kilobyte document will use approximately five request units. Obviously, this is a very approximate number and may change based on the context of your workloads, your indexing policy, or how you replicate data on your policies with your consistency model. Now that we have a good introduction on how billing works, let's dump, uh, jump into uh, how reserve capacity reservations work. Uh, so as we kind of talked a little bit about before, uh, your Cosmos DB bill is extremely flexible. On our end, that flexibility is uh, something we guarantee to you, but is in incredibly hard to maintain all those resources for customers to scale up and down uh, their throughput capacity and increase or decrease the number of RUs. So if customers sign up for a one or three year reserve capacity reservation, uh, we uh, on our end experience very significant savings and we hope to pass on many of those savings to you. Below is a table which outlines many of the possible savings from making an Azure Cosmos DB reserve capacity reservation. As you can see, the more re request units that you purchase for one or three years and prepay for, the higher amount uh, of savings you will see. In addition, if your reservation is for one year, three years as opposed to one year, you will see very significant savings. Um, as visible in this table, uh, the, the maximum uh, possible savings is well above 50% uh, for customers, and customers that use our multi-master feature can see further savings. Your reservation scope is extremely flexible. Some customers may want to have their uh, Azure Cosmos DB reserve capacity reservation scoped to a single subscription. However, it is also possible to combine multiple or all subscriptions within a single Azure enrollment into one Azure Cosmos DB reserve capacity reservation. This flexibility is incredibly easy on the customer end to configure. Estimating your reserve capacity reservation size is very easy. Um, you're, you're also welcome to reach out to our uh, Cosmos DB product team and we'll be happy to assist you with that. But essentially, uh, the best approach is to estimate the number of RUs used per account um, and, and make sure this is a number that you're relatively certain you'll use over one or three years and make sure your workload is of a constant size or increasing. And then multiply this number by the number of Azure regions where this account is globally replicated. Then simply total this number for all relevant subscriptions which you are including in this Azure Cosmos DB reserve capacity reservation. One uh, feature of Cosmos DB that makes it stand out is that it's the most globally replicated database in the world. Uh, now different uh, Azure databases have slightly different costs for each request unit. This does not change the how you will purchase your uh, Azure Cosmos DB reserve capacity reservation, but it does change how uh, some of your reservation uh, costs will be uh, attributed to each bill. Let's go through a few examples of this. Let's assume this customer has purchased a 100,000 RU reservation. Just to give some context, this is the smallest uh, amount of RUs you can purchase for a reservation, and it provides, I believe, 20% savings for one year and 30% savings for a three-year commitment. Let's assume this customer has, uh, has an account that's globally replicated their data uh, into both U.S. North Central and U.S. West. The price for RUs in each of these regions is $0.08 cents per 100 RUs uh, per hour. Uh, this reservation, if applied, and if each uh, region used 50,000 RUs of throughput, um, this reservation would be completely applied to this, uh, this account, and that customer would not have any on-demand uh, request unit costs uh, in their bill. Uh, the idea is if the customer had to use additional throughput, they'd be able to purchase these uh, request units for the on-demand price of $0.08 uh, per 100 request units per hour. Cool. So now I'll explore the example um, if one region is more uh, expensive uh, that, than another. 
Uh, so let's assume the same customer has a 100,000 RU reservation, and they've globally repli replicated their data to US North Central and France South. As a reminder, US North Central has a RU cost of 0.8 cents per 100 RUs per hour, and France South has an RU cost of 1.3 cents per 100 RUs per hour. Uh, this makes France South about 1.6 times more expensive than US North Central. If you go to this link down here below, you'll be able to see what we call uh, the reservation charge ratios for each Azure region. Um, that's simply based on, that number comes from the cost of um, per, for RUs uh, per hour in each of these uh, regions. So to calculate how the RUs from your Azure Reserve Capacity Reservation are going to be applied to these regions, simply take the, uh, that number of RUs and divide it by this ratio, and you'll um, calculate the number of RUs that will be uh, applied from this reservation. Um, let's go through an example to illustrate that. Uh, so let's talk about how the application of 100,000 RUs would apply to each of these regions. Uh, let's say you used uh, 50,000 units of throughput uh, in U.S. North Central and in France South. Uh, because uh, the ratio for U.S. North Central is 1, your reservation uh, would be 50,000 RUs from your reservation would be applied to uh, U.S. North Central. Um, because the, the ratio for France South is 1.625, we would divide 50,000 by 1.625 um, to arrive at about 30,769, and that's the number of RUs that would be applied from your reservation to this more expensive region. Uh, so you would, in this case, have to pay around 19,000 or so uh, on-demand RU costs, and those would be billed at whatever the standard rate is for the France South region. Um, so that's that's it for our video. Uh, reserve capacity is, is a simple topic to understand, and it copies a lot of the billing models uh, for one or three year discounts for other Azure services if you uh, prepay and commit to uh, using this service for a period of time. Um, the steps uh, for you to take for purchasing a Cosmos DB reserve capacity reservation are very simple. You can purchase the reservation through the link uh, outlined right here, um, aka MS uh, Cosmos DB RI. Um, in addition, you can email askcosmosdb at microsoft.com. We'd be happy to help you choose the appropriate reservation size uh, for your Azure enrollment. Um, if you want to group certain subscriptions together or whatnot, we'd be happy to work with you to make that uh, calculation. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thank you for, uh, for watching this, and I hope you have a great day.